Have you ever heard of Fred Hampton, the charismatic young leader whose life was cut short in a blaze of controversy? In the crucible of the civil rights era, one name etched itself indelibly into the annals of history, Fred Hampton. Born in August of 1948 in the heartland of America, Illinois, Hampton was a beacon of brilliance from an early age. His innate intelligence and precocious leadership abilities were evident when he mobilized his schoolmates to petition for better school facilities, a feat he achieved while barely out of his teens. As he grew, so did his passion for activism. The fire in his belly for social justice led him to the Black Panther Party, an organization that embodied his ideals of equality and empowerment. His rise within the ranks was meteoric. His charisma, intelligence, and fearlessness made him a natural leader, and soon he was leading the Illinois chapter of the party. But Hampton was more than just a charismatic leader. He was a visionary, a beacon of hope for those marginalized and oppressed. He dreamt of a world where color was not a determinant of worth, where justice and equality were not just lofty ideals, but tangible realities. His speeches were not only passionate, but also infused with a deep understanding of the socio-political landscape. They ignited a spark in his listeners, inspiring them to strive for a better future. Yet his path was not an easy one. His advocacy for the rights of the downtrodden and his rising popularity earned him powerful enemies. His revolutionary ideas were seen as a threat by those who sought to maintain the status quo. His charisma made him a target, his leadership abilities a danger, and his passion for activism a catalyst for his downfall. A promising life, sadly, destined for an untimely end. Despite the challenges he faced, Hampton remained undeterred, his spirit unbroken. His story is a testament to the power of conviction, a reminder of the price of freedom, and a tribute to a life that, though cut short, left an indelible mark on history. As a leader, Hampton had a vision, a dream of racial harmony and economic justice. Fred Hampton wasn't just a man with a dream, he was a revolutionary in action. As the charismatic chairman of the Illinois Black Panther Party, he worked tirelessly to turn his vision into a reality. Hampton was a force to be reckoned with. He believed in the power of unity, of bringing together diverse groups for the common cause of justice. This belief led to the formation of the Rainbow Coalition, an alliance that brought together the Black Panthers, Young Patriots, and the Young Lords. It was a formidable mix of Black, White, and Latino activists all working towards a shared goal, social and economic equality. But Hampton's work didn't stop at political alliances. He knew that to build a better society, you had to meet people's basic needs. This understanding birthed the Free Breakfast for Children program, a community project that provided meals to kids in need. It was a simple act, but one that spoke volumes about his commitment to the cause. Hampton was a revolutionary who believed in the power of unity, the importance of meeting basic needs, and the necessity of a just society. His actions and his leadership sparked a flame that continues to inspire generations. His actions did not go unnoticed, drawing both admiration and fear. While Hampton was rallying support, he was also attracting unwanted attention. As the charismatic leader of the Black Panther Party in Illinois, Hampton's influence was expanding at an unprecedented rate. His impassioned speeches and his vision for social change resonated with many, but not all were pleased with the momentum he was gaining. Among the less enthusiastic onlookers was the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation. The FBI, under the leadership of the notorious J. Edgar Hoover, had long been wary of any form of social unrest. Hampton, with his undeniable charisma and revolutionary ideas, was seen as a threat to the status quo. This fear of change led to the creation of the Counterintelligence Program, or COINTELPRO, this operation was initiated by the FBI with the aim of surveilling, infiltrating, discrediting, and disrupting domestic political organizations. The Black Panther Party, with its radical stance on social justice, was a prime target. Hampton and his comrades were no exception. The FBI saw them as a black nationalist hate group, and Hampton, with his rallying cries for change, was the face of this perceived threat. The Bureau went to great lengths to keep a close eye on Hampton and his activities. They tapped his phone lines, monitored his movements, and even planted informants within the Black Panther Party. This attention wasn't just limited to Hampton. 
the government's watchful eye extended to other members of the Black Panther Party as well. The operation was vast and far-reaching, with the main objective being to neutralize the party and its influence. This extensive surveillance and infiltration by the FBI laid the groundwork for a climate of fear and suspicion. The government's scrutiny was not just an invasion of privacy, but a blatant attack on the freedoms of Hampton and his fellow Black Panthers. The stage was set for a tragic climax, fueled by fear and suspicion. The government's fear of change and its relentless pursuit of Hampton and the Black Panther Party would ultimately lead to a tragic end. December 4, 1969, a day that would forever be seared into the annals of American history. As the winter winds swept through the streets of Chicago, an air of tragedy loomed over the city that morning. Fred Hampton, the charismatic young leader of the Black Panther Party, was asleep in his apartment. Unbeknownst to him, the events that would unfold in the next few hours would mark the end of his life and the beginning of a controversial chapter in American history. The pre-dawn hours were shattered by the sound of gunfire. The Chicago Police Department, working in tandem with the FBI, had launched a raid on Hampton's apartment. Although the official report claimed they were returning fire, subsequent investigations revealed a different story. Hampton, still in bed and reportedly drugged, was shot twice point-blank and was pronounced dead at the scene. The shock waves of this tragic event reverberated throughout the nation, igniting a firestorm of controversy and outrage. The circumstances surrounding Hampton's death were shrouded in uncertainty and suspicion. The narrative put forth by the authorities was met with skepticism. The raid, the gunfire, the alleged drugging, the pieces of this grim puzzle painted a troubling picture. Questions were raised about the role of the government with many pointing fingers at the FBI's COINTELPRO program, known for its efforts to disrupt and discredit radical political organizations. The loss of Fred Hampton was deeply felt, not just by his community, but by the entire nation. His charismatic leadership, his passionate advocacy for social justice, and his vision for a better world were cut short in their prime. The echoes of his powerful speeches still resonate today, a poignant reminder of a life ended too soon. The tragic end of Fred Hampton is a stark reminder of the dangerous intersection between power and resistance, between the establishment and those who dare to challenge it. His death served as a catalyst for change, sparking a renewed fight for justice and equality. In the heart of darkness, a beacon of hope was extinguished. In the wake of Hampton's death, a storm of outrage swept the nation. A tempest of disbelief and fury, as the public grappled with the brutal end of a man whose only crime was to dream of a world where justice was not just a word, but a reality for all. The shockwaves of his death reverberated through homes and hearts, sparking a demand for answers that could not be silenced. This clamor for truth led to a series of investigations, each peeling back the layers of a disturbing narrative. As the details of that fateful night were unveiled, it became clear that Hampton's death was not the result of a spontaneous altercation, but rather the tragic outcome of a calculated governmental operation. The realization that a man could be targeted and eliminated for his beliefs sent a chilling message to the nation, one that would forever change the trajectory of the civil rights movement. Yet, in the face of this horrifying revelation, there was a silver lining. Hampton's death, while tragic, was not in vain. It served as a catalyst, a rallying cry for those who believed in the cause he championed. In the aftermath of his demise, there was a renewed vigor and determination among civil rights activists. The fight for justice and equality was far from over. It had only just begun. Hampton's legacy is not merely confined to the annals of history. It is alive and pulsating in the hearts of those who continue to fight the good fight. His vision of a fair and just society serves as a beacon, guiding the way for future generations. His words, once spoken in small community meetings and grand auditoriums, are now echoed in the chants of protesters, in the speeches of activists, and in the policies of progressive lawmakers. Indeed, his influence transcends borders and time. From the Black Lives Matter movement in the United States to anti-apartheid protests in South Africa, Hampton's ideals continue to inspire and galvanize people around the world. His life may have been cut short, but his spirit continues to soar, undeterred by the passage of time or the barriers of geography. 
In the end, uh, we remember Fred Hampton not just as a leader, but as a symbol of resistance, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity in the face of injustice. Fred Hampton may have been silenced, but his voice continues to echo, driving the fight for justice and equality.